video and I have one of the GMA TV personalities Krista Kleiner hi hi Angelica how are you I'm great look at how pretty she is I mean but no but you do hold a lot of titles you were GMA host and then you were also a beauty queen right so tell us more about that well I won Miss Philip I won a couple of pageants out here in California when I was younger uh, Miss Pistong Philippines Queen of Tourism Miss USA Philippines and then I went to GMA uh, the Philippines started hosting Go Bingo Events Incorporated with Tim Yap uh, singing and dancing on SOP and did some soaps um, Gagambino the Philippine Spider-Man and Darna the Philippine version of Wonder Woman some other stuff and then I won Miss Philippines International this past March and uh, 10 so right now I'm raining and enjoying that it's uh, really cool and right after I won that title I was asked by Julio Iglesias to join him on his world tour and it's been amazing and that's why I get to be here right now so as a little girl were you always aspiring to be something like an actor a singer yeah I have been in love with performing um, since I was little singing uh, dancing jazz tap ballet hip-hop Latin ballroom you name it like right. my parents enrolled me in it right. And um, also they enrolled me in Taekwondo until they wouldn't let me quit till I got my black belt. And at the time I hated it, but now I'm so thankful because that's what gets me my action roles. And really? now I would love, like that's one thing I'm working on right now is just to really get into the action. So you do your own stunts? Yeah. Oh my gosh, she can, we can do like a Filipino Charlie's Angels. I <laughs> yeah, I should have brought my nunchucks, we could have done something. But You can time. battle Anna, who, who yeah. oh my god. Yeah, Anna and I were talking earlier right? and yeah, she's really cool, but. That's so, Filipinos bring it. Exactly. You know, we've got to represent, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we're here at the Cabo Bayan Fest. How yeah. are you excited to be here, especially in the States, you know, and just sharing it with the, the, Phil, the Philam, you know, community? Absolutely. I mean, especially because I was born and raised in Orange County. This is my hometown. I mean, I grew up going to the Knott's Berry Farm, not Scary Farm. So to be able to be here back home and in my spot, it's really cool. And to be able to share the success that I've had and promote the Filipino culture here in my hometown is the best thing ever. Exactly. How was the transition, though, from living, you know, in Southern California to living in the Philippines? Well, it's a little bit of an adjustment, but luckily, since my mom is Filipino, she it was really important for her to instill the Filipino values and culture with me. She also would bring me back to the Philippines every so often. So it wasn't that big of a culture right. shock. It was more just missing my family and friends, was, which was the biggest adjustment. So you said your, your mom's Filipino, so you're Mestiza? Well, yeah, my mom's Filipino with the normal Chinese Spanish background, and my dad's American, half German, half British. But Ooh. they taught me Tagalog, or my mom did, I so I can idea. speak it fluently. So, so you learned Tagalog what, at what age? Well, my mom started speaking to me as I was growing up, so like by two I could get out some stuff oh and she would sing me Tagalog songs and she would, you know, so um, it's been a part of my life. What's your favorite Filipino lullaby? Oh, man. <laughs> I um, only have one. I only know one. My mom <laughs> would always sing me Bahay Kubo. The, okay, <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's the Filipino song. <laughs> Who's your favorite singer, Filipino artist? Oh, uh, well, um... um. I have to say, uh, who's your favorite a Philippi close, <laughs> a close friend of mine, <laughs> close someone, uh, Jr. Yeah, okay. he's really, really. Uh, so amazing. somebody is uh, mentioning you over here. I think you should. Um. <laughs> he is the best singer ever. Um, has such a beautiful voice. He knows how to connect with the audience. Is, is his and voice when, the combo of Fergie and Jesus. Oh, better, <laughs> better. And you can't help but uh, fall in love when you, you're listening to him. How, how, so you guys are friends. How how long have you guys known each other? Uh, well, we've known each other for a while now, uh, about a year and a half. Um, but. Yeah, I think I guess we got a little something more going on than friendship, you know. but you'll have to ask. Him you, we yeah, I think so. We're, we might have a little, you know, little investigative report. I'm just <laughs> you might have to follow up on that one. Exactly. <laughs> so other than um, so you have pageants coming up. Do you have any movie roles coming up? Well, I have some stuff going on, but I have to keep it, you know, a little hush-hush like until that. it's final. But some good thing, a lot of good things are happening, especially since the pageant and. So, I mean, I'll keep you guys up to date with what's going on, but just watch out for me because exactly. some good things might be happening. Yeah, and I want to see her kick some butt, you know? I want some, like, fire and, like, car chases. 
Oh yeah, no, bus, for sure. <laughs> I got I got some stuff uh, floating around on YouTube too, with like compilation videos of me dancing, doing nunchucks. That's how I won the talent portion in the pageant. Actually, I did a sing, dancing, taekwondo, nunchuck combination thing. It was pretty weird, oh but it was to Lady Gaga, so it was perfect. The weirdness just kind of spits in right there. You have the blood too. No, I didn't. <laughs> but the next time, you know, Philippines might be a little bit shocked by that one, so I'll save that for out here. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. So for your much time. fun talking to you, Krista and Jalka, Pacific Rim Video.